I'm solo queuing to Masters again, but this time I'm going to share my thought process as we play so that you can watch and learn about every single decision that needs to be made to ensure you rank up fast and without any problems. I've solo queued to Masters multiple times and I've always solo queued since the very beginning with very little time playing with pre-mades. What this means is I have a lot of experience when it comes to making the right calls, understanding how to rotate, and in this game today we learn about ring placements and how important it is to read the ring placements and also how easy it can be to learn about where to rotate to immediately just a couple minutes after starting the match and this is a really crucial mistake a lot of players fail to do. In this video we also talk about resource management, we talk about holding the right positions, knowing when to fight and when not to fight and how to deal with your teammates when they may not be so cooperative. There's a lot to learn and unpack in this video. We're going to play a game and as I play I'm going to talk live about what's going on so that everybody who may be struggling to rank up can learn and yeah hopefully we can have a fun educational experience altogether and if you have any of your own rank tips or any way I could have improved in this game I'd love to hear it so please leave a comment below and this is just the beginning let's get into it nice this one. Just checking if you have an armor shot, that's all. Nice. Alright, that's the initial fight. So there may be a third party, we're just going to heal up inside real quick whilst we take a look at the map. So we're in the ring. What is up with this door? Holy moly. We are in the ring. It's pulling towards this side. So when a ring pulls towards a certain direction, the initial first ring, it's likely the final ring is going to keep pulling towards it. So we're looking at an end game around here. Okay. We kind of want to move this way as soon as possible. Uh, just so that we can set up, right? If we really want to win, most important thing in ranked is positioning. So, we want to go over there. Um, and I think we can do that. Um, we measure our craft as we're already in the ring. We don't have a massive amount of worry in terms of getting there super fast. We got some KP. Um, so let's craft it up a little bit. Get some uh, resources for late game. Looks like our teammates also disconnected. Hopefully he comes back, but we shall see. Obviously, we are playing Maggie, but not for really any reason. Uh, so I don't really care about taking a shotgun. I'm happy with Vault G7. We're going to play this as safe as humanly possible. We want to try and get RP here. So, let's craft up some bats and stuff. So once we rotate to here, we have a large peer wire. Eternal Gardens is a really large peer wire. If it's an end game there, there's a lot of open space. And what that really means is we're definitely going to need a long range thing. Like, no doubt. So on my way over there, I'm hoping we can find a long range scope. Um, they're going to need to craft. So in the meantime, we're just going to kind of stick with our teammates. Now, one really important thing is that you should always try and pay attention to where people land nearby. But, unfortunately, uh, we didn't do that. <laughs> so I have no idea. We can just assume people are everywhere all at once, right? So, what we should be doing now um, is just constantly keeping an eye on where our team is at any given moment. Right? There's no, there's no need for us to be apart from her team. We should be sticking by them so that we can trade off them, we can back them up, they can back us up if they suddenly get shot at. No need for us to be anywhere near, like, any kind of distance away from them. So, yes, we have, like, you know, success rate may be going up massively if we just get into the ring right now. Um, but at the end of the day, everyone has their own pace of play. May as well just kind of chill out keep an eye on that optic whilst we're waiting um and just rotate in with them oh, 
Oh, looks like we got a team. That's all swirling. Let's be just keep rotating at this point. Yeah, we managed to get the uh, Octane to follow us with pings, so we're just gonna try and lead right now. You know, some people just want to do their own thing, and if you try to go too far away from them, you could just potentially get yourself killed. But one thing I find is really good for solo queuing is if you just kind of push where you want to go, get moving, um, people tend to follow, as long as you're patient with them, you know. So what we're going to do is just sit at the edge of the ring now, right? We're going to rotate through here, play it safe, get ring placements, and play super passive to the late game. So at the end of the day, we have three kill points. And yes, there is no kill point limit anymore, which is great. But at the end of the day, if we take fights, um, chances of winning and getting that max KP from a win is much lower. We want to try and rank up as soon as possible, right? We rank up quick. We don't want it to be any more stressful than it needs to be. Right? Well, looks like we've got a fight here, though, and a lot of lag as well. Strangely enough, as soon as we come across this team. And they're coming right over here. Alright, it's a 2v1, we're gonna heal up real quick. Here we go, right. Oh no, it's alive. Alright, there we go, there we go. Long range. So, what we wanna do is get our teammate back as quick as possible here. That was odd. That was very odd. Alright, we're gonna go get the res off. Now, we have six kill points at this point. Six. We absolutely do not need to fight now. We're going to rotate out of the ring. The ring is going to end around here somewhere. And we'll be safe for the rest of the game. Let me just play placements. We have we have the resources now. Like, we don't really need to do anything. And there it is. As I said, it's, like, it's not all the time. But most of the time you can predict it's going to end around the side that it pulls to at the beginning of the match. Let's see if they have a longer range scope a little bit. We're kind of also coming here just to let our teammate loot his box back and make sure we don't get pushed because we just res, right? A revive is one of those uh, activities in the game that could actually cause a big third party fight to happen because people may be looking for fights and they see that, right? Crafting can cause it. Uh, things like Bangalore, Gibby's ult, Lifeline ult. All of these things can cause uh, fights to happen, um, but in this in this case, we seem to be all right. I don't think anyone's coming. We now I have nine squads left, which is actually quite a lot considering. Um, so there's going to be a lot of competition for finding a good spot in this late game ring. Um, so we really want to try and be as careful as humanly possible here, and, and and try and get into a spot as quickly as we can. If we can like hold an edge building here. We know we're not really going to have anyone rotating on us. Um, we can kind of sit there, play it safe a little bit, you know? It's going to be the best way to rank up. Yeah, legendary. Right, so we're going to scout this area a little bit. We're not going to just run straight out. We want to kind of see what's going on. Are there any teams here? Does anyone already hold up in these buildings? Obviously... Someone should be running a scan legend on your team, so you don't even have to worry about second guessing if there's a team here. You know, you got your abilities. That's why legends like Sia, or especially Sia, but also Bloodhound, are so useful. Because a quick scan can confirm anything. Like, if you didn't see somebody hiding behind a, you know, a box or whatever, scan can do that for you. We've got 2 to 4x, but nothing else. So, we've got this spot. We have this spot, so I'm going to ping to my team now. I'm going to tell them I want to just chill here. And they also agreed, so that's great. They followed it. They followed the uh, plan. We're going to chill here. We have this really nice angle, which allows us to peek all of the POI here, right? We have our backs to this POI, which is amazing. Yes, a team could come from here, and we do have to worry about that. 
But um, we have a great view of the whole POI. And once this next ring comes in, we're going to be pretty safe uh, from behind. Which is really, really wonderful. You know? You always want to try and sit at the edge of a POI. If you're playing solo and you're not getting much communication with your team. Because it, 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 it has the least room for error. If you need to suddenly move or reposition or you get sandwiched by many squads, it's going to be hard for you to communicate quickly with your team if they don't really, you know, that, especially if they don't, you know, if there's a language barrier or they're just not really listening to you or whatever. You don't have any synergy together, you've never played before. Go for the most safe thing, right? Most safe level of play. We do not need to push anything. We don't need to go towards any fights. We're going to wait here, hold for placement, see where this next ring is, and then rotate along the edge of the ring again to once again, again, get into a safe position. Very simple. We could also try and level up our armor at this point. It's what I'm trying to do, but obviously we have quite a um, long uh, engagement distance. Right, you see my teams move up to this building. I'm going to move here too, because we don't want to be left behind. We always want to check on where our teammates are. If I'm over there and somehow a team pushes me from the zip line or whatever, I'm alone. I'm going to die. It doesn't matter how good I am. I'm going to get 1v3, you know? Now, at this stage in the game, you should constantly be thinking, how much ammo do I have? How many meds do I have? Can I afford to keep shooting like this? Obviously, we want to try and level up our armor. That's the point we're shooting, right? But only if we can afford to do it. Luckily, we have a G7 scout, so the ammo efficiency of this is really good. I think one mistake a lot of people make is in this stage, they just try and shoot whoever, try and get damage off, whatever, and then they get a knock and they're like, right, push, 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 push. That is a bad idea. Every single team is in this POI right now. Eight squads. If we push anything, we are losing our amazing position. Good news is the next ring is also coming here, right? We are not shooting to try and get kills. We are literally leveling up our Evo armor to stand a better chance late game to winning, right? That extra 25 health is very important. That's the whole point of what we're doing right now. And also, not only are we doing that, but it does whittle down their resources as well. Like they're gonna run out of meds and stuff, right? That is an important thing to think about. Resources and resource management is one thing I think a lot of people don't necessarily pay much attention to. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, let's stay. So, right there, that player almost pushed, but we told them to stay back with some uh, urgency, and they listened to us. They listened. Okay, even this guy is Chinese, right? He does, he may not have the best understanding of English, but no, 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 no. I mean, everybody, most people understand that. You know? We have some communication issues now. He wants to go there. Uh, but this is the, this is the prime position. It, it's most likely going to end the side. Remember, this whole time it's been pulling here, 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 here. It's probably going to pull around here. It's unlikely. It could happen, but it's unlikely to pull here. It's probably going to pull here. This, this is just the way the ring works. We have a great angle. That spot there is not as strong because look at, look at how strong this is. This is like a head glitch dream. It's so good. It is so incredible. You know? Right. Not an ideal position. We've talked about it. But at this point, we cannot just argue with our team anymore. Unfortunately, we have to go to this unfavorable position because it's best for our team. It is best for our team for us to stick together. As much as I'd like to just sit there. There's still five squads left. Um, yeah, this, this, is, this is an issue I was worried about. You have two different locations people can push from. Um, we just got to try and taper their aggressiveness. They may want to push something and we need to try and just, uh, say no to it, right? We don't want to die here. We're trying to win games. We are trying to win games. Right? Look, there it is. It's pulling to that side, right? Right? 
，一百一十九，打了他就行。Guys, need the syringes. Need seventy-eight damage more to level up my Evo. Our teammate is kind of going in. Um, so I guess we're going for it as well. Uh, which means we're going to be third party as soon as we win this fight, unfortunately. Not the most ideal way to play. It is not the most ideal way to play. But we're going to have to just do it, I guess. There we go. Okay. That's going in, dude. Yeah. Now we lost, dude. Now we lost. Play a wreck to my left. Oh, yeah. I need to lose line of sight. So obviously we lost that one. Um, it's a difficult situation because, I mean, we can try and argue our point to stay here, right? Rotate safe. Um, but get to a point where the, 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 the players get impatient. We did not win that game because we pushed out of position. We went to take this fight. They had the zero down. We still tried to push. Uh, and obviously, it doesn't even matter if we win this fight here, because that team is patiently waiting to be the third party. They played it incredibly well. They were playing very similarly to us. Uh, as you can see, they don't have a massive number of kills, but they're going to win this game with some really juicy RP. Um, so we learned quite a lot from that. Uh, at the end of the day, you've got to just play smart. Kills aren't as important. Like, if we were to take that last fight and get the win there, we would have got a lot more RP, right? 